This Klein Android came in from Singapore for restoration. It's a frame more than 20 years old and it's used and worn and as you can see it's obviously bleached and the owner of this frame wants me to restore it. And it looks blue but the original color was more than a green. There was a sticker on the fork you can see here and that was the original color Rainforest I have to restore. And I have to remove also some damages. There's a huge dent on the top tube I have to remove. And also the typical corrosion on the cable entries here and there. And what I also have to do is I have to replace the stickers and the decals because they are bleached and worn as well. The mission control sticker, also the made in the USA sticker. And I have to restore the green color. And when I've done that, I have to refinish the frame for complete restoration. So let's start. I need some energy to remove the forks because it's a press fit with two bearings and when they get old they are rusty as hell. Check this. But that's what I have to do is because I need all these parts separately. I like to remove as well all the uh, rubber sealings. And the next step I will do is I will polish the head badge before I remove it. It's easier to polish it on the frame so it looks new and shiny. That's what I do now. Then I have to remove some color on all the damaged areas to dent, also the corrosion areas to do a good preparation. Then I can do the prep work and I can start with the paint job. So let's do it. Yeah, it looks nice and shiny, but I have to remove the head badge before I can start painting because only lazy people and douchebags paint with a head badge on and I like to paint the area underneath the head badge as well. So I have to remove it before I can start painting. Yeah, and check this, the original color underneath the head badge. Now you can see the complete dent. The color inside the dent marks the complete area which is deformed and I have to fill this area with liquid metal and then I have a smooth top tube for the new paint job. The dent is filled with liquid metal and I have a smooth top tube but there is also a big issue here at the cable entry, corrosion and it's much bigger than you think. It's all over this area and it's underneath the clear coat and the primer. That's corrosion of the aluminum and check this, here are bubbles. And the aluminum reacts with salt and the salt causes these bubbles because of the corrosion of the aluminum and you can see it, it's black. Normally it must be light, how can I say, glossy, light, glossy. And I have to remove all the loose color before I can start repainting. And I have to remove all the salt and the aluminum because if I don't remove these areas, it will come back in a few years and that's what I don't want. So if the paint job should last long, I have to remove all the salt underneath the primer and in the aluminum. You can see it here. That's all salty.
So now you're here again knocking at my door A little too late for I'm sorry for The lights went out cause you kept cutting the cord And I started to fade into your gray See I finally opened up my eyes And I saw me coming back to life That I'd be better The frame's ready, prepare them in the paint booth and it's waiting for its paint job. And the first thing I have to do is I have to mix some primer and I will use a two component system. The primer, the hardener, believe me, it will get much harder than my accent will ever be. And also some thinner, what I also use is a cup. And some wooden sticks, so let's start the mix. The ratio is 100 to 1, 100 parts of the primer and one part of the hardener. And I add also some thinner because I will use a small gun, a mini gun, because I have to paint all, only spots. And when I paint spots, I will not use the big gun. So I mix a thin primer. And to do so, I have to add maybe 10 to 20% of the thinner. That's it. So let's change to the paint booth and let's start the new paint job on the add right. What I will do now is not very difficult to do. I will primer all the little spots where the blank aluminum shines through the paint job for a good adhesion and also to protect the aluminum from any corrosion. And I will use such a mini gun because there are a lot of small spots and these mini guns make it easy to fill these small spots. So let's do it. I waited for you in the passenger seat. There's only so far I can ride in your dreams. While you were chasing everything up in me. I'm starting to play out from your face. See, I finally opened up my eyes. And I saw me come back to life. Said I'd be better with no you inside. It's time to be sad. Let's do the fun part of the paint job, the color. I skipped some steps because they are basic paintwork and very boring to watch. What I did in the meantime is I sanded all the areas where I applied primer. I applied also a white base coat and now I have prepared parts which are very smooth and ready for the new paint job also on the frame. What I have to do now is I have to mix the neon colors and the next step is very simple. So ask your kids if they want to help you because even a preschooler can do it. What I have to do is I have to squeeze on some color on all these parts to imitate the rainforest paint job. And that's so simple like painting Easter eggs. But before I can start, I have to mix the color. So let's go. What I need are some cups. Also, special ingredient. And I will use a powder, a neon powder like this. And I like to do my color myself because I know what I have if I create all these colors myself. I have to put in some of the neon. I have to mix it. Some more. 
And to create the rainforest paint job, I have to mix two colors, a neon yellow and a neon blue, and add it together. They appear in green, and that's how the rainforest paint job looks. I do the same as the blue. But it's not ready to use. What I have to do now is I have to add some intercoat like this. And this intercoat makes the color uh, durable and usable as a coating for a bike frame. And that's it. Very simple. And I have a color which I can apply on the frame. All the fixed areas on the frame are dipped in blue, also on the fork and on the mission control. So I decided to do also two water bottles. I prepared them yesterday. I primed them as well, sprayed some white base coat and added the boss logos in the client style. And what I have to do now is the same dip like on the frame. I start with blue and when I've added the blue, I will change to the neon yellow. And when I've done that, I have to add also some black spots and the rainforest paint job's done. I have to add some black spots as well, like on the frame. I will do that on the bottles and some smaller spots on the frame because there are already black spots and I like to refresh them only a little bit before I can apply the clear coat and the finish. Memories filling up my mind and I can't seem to push him back. It's to break my mind and I just let it go. I didn't lose the way. You have seen me print in these decals, the Mission Control decal, also the Made in the USA decal. And these are water slides, so I have to put them into a bath of warm water. And then I can transfer them onto the Mission Control and onto the frame. What I also need is a pair of scissors and some paper towels. So let's do it. Gotta 
keep pushing through Yeah, I keep doing my own thing Yeah, never looking back again I can get it, I can make it, yeah, I know it And I'm never looking back again Yeah, never looking back again I can get it, I can make it, yeah, I know it And I'm never looking back again The last step in the painting process, spraying the clear coat, and most of the DIY painters underestimate the difficulty of spraying clear coat. It looks easy, but it isn't. That's the step where most of the things can go wrong, and most of them run into trouble because they have not enough practice. And the simple solution is, practice spraying clear coat, and if you messed up with the first one, try it again and again and again, and someday you will be also able to spray a good clear coat on a bike frame, or on parts, helmets, or whatever. So let's start. And here it is, the fresh painted Klein Android. The restoration is done, the paint job's on. I made also two water bottles in the same paint scheme, Rainforest, and now it's time to send it back to Singapore. Thank you for watching, and if you like my artwork and custom painting, don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss my future projects. I will put this beauty on a turntable so you can have a closer look. Thanks and goodbye.